Welcome back to Tainslide Info. In today's video, I would be sharing vital updates regarding Tejas variant of fighters and the first update is regarding the update on Tejas Mark II production and the second update is regarding the Tejas lift variant which is also known as HLFT-42. So let's begin with each news one by one in a very detailed manner. There were many good news coming out relevant to Tejas Mark II recently and one such information was about the Hindustan Aeronautics Limited expediting the fighter development and this is because Indian Air Force can procure them as planned. We also hear news that on September 1, 2022, the Cabinet Committee on Security cleared almost 10,000 crore rupees for the Tejas Mark II that includes prototype development and also flight testing. This clearance is a major boost for indigenous fighter aircraft development and the Tejas Mark II program needs to be expedited so that the next stages goes as per the plan and we get to see the first prototype of this fighter at the earliest. Hindustan Aeronautics Limited will start the limited series production from 2025 post the required high speed taxi trials. It is said that the entire development process will be completed by 2027 with serial production to start post that. The latest update which has come now from the sources of Hindustan Aeronautics Limited and Indian Air Force is about the production deadline of the Tejas Mark II fighter. With the Tejas Mark II planned to be operationally available from 2028, it is said that Hindustan Aeronautics Limited has set a target to conclude the deliveries of six squadrons of Tejas Mark II by 2032 tentatively. Apart from the current commitment of 110 to 120 aircraft that will form six squadrons, government officials expect an additional order of 210 aircrafts, but nothing is official yet. Hindustan Aeronautics Limited is planning to produce almost 30 aircrafts per year, and as per this speed, they would try to achieve the deadline of 2032. This deadline also includes the production of spares like the reserve panels and airframe components which is meant for storage and to be used on in-service aircrafts. So that was the latest happenings with Tejas Mark II. Now coming to the second update regarding the Hindustan lead-in fighter trainer which is also known as HLFT-42. Hindustan Aeronautics Limited is considering the development of the Hindustan lead-in fighter trainer on a serious note so that India can capture a good name in the field of the lead-in fighter trainer. South Korea is rocking in this field by populating many orders for their FA-50 combat aircraft and there are high chances for them even to win the deal of 18 lead-in fighter trainers from Malaysia. India has very less chance to win this deal and that is as per the different sources but let's hope Tejas gets this deal to mark Malaysia as the first country to get the Tejas exported from India. Even Turkey is in full form to come up with the Hurjet supersonic advanced trainer and light combat aircraft which is under development by the Turkish aerospace industries. They are planning to have the first flight of this most awaited trainer aircraft by end of 2022 itself. Another competitor in the market is the Boeing Saab combination T7A Red Hawk which is an all new advanced pilot jet trainer. Even though for now the T7A Red Hawk was selected by the United States Air Force as the winner of the TX program, there are high chances for it to become a tight competitor in the market. The HLFT-42 is based on the LCA Tejas two-seat variant which is being designed and reserved for use as a dedicated basic and advanced flight training aircraft. Even though there is no timeline as to when we can see the HLF-2-42, Hindustan Aeronautics Limited has to take this more seriously to make sure they get a chance to shine in the international market for the lead in fighter trainer program. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned to Tainslade Info for more defense and aviation related updates. Thank you.